I have these unfinished wood hangers that came from the Dollar Tree. One of them measures 18 inches and two of the others measure 12 and I cut one of the two to eight inches. And I'm gonna remove the jute hanger from all three. I'm going to paint the first one with some Wise Owl Goldenrod. Now you could pick any colors of your choice. All paint products can be found on our website at chalkitupfancy.com. The 12 inch piece I'm going to paint in some Wise Owl Republic Red. And then the third piece that I cut to eight inches I'm going to paint in some Wise Owl Dried Thyme. Now this wood is very thin. You can just cut with a pair of metal shears if you do not have a circular saw. Next I have these teardrop shapes. I get these in a pack from Hobby Lobby. They measure three inches, two inches, and then the smallest one is about an inch and a half. And I'm going to start with some white paint and then while that's still wet I'm just adding in a little bit of goldenrod and a little bit of fireside and I did this on all three next I have two pieces of wood they're just scrap pieces of wood and they measure eight inches each and I'm going to paint those in some wise owl snow owl Now once everything is fully dry, I'm going to start gluing all my pieces together. I'm going to be using a popsicle stick and I'm gluing each of the teardrops to the top of each popsicle stick. And I'm just using hot glue to adhere everything. And then I'm gonna take the other end, add some glue, and I'm gonna add a teardrop to each piece of wood. So it's going to look like a candle with the flame. I have some wood Jenga blocks. You can get these right from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue them on the back side of my 12 inch board. So that way it's going to be in front of the larger piece of wood, but just raised a little bit. And then I'm going to take the smaller piece of wood and I'm going to put it on the left side and instead of one Jenga block, I'm gluing down two Jenga blocks. So that way it's sitting in front of the other two pieces of wood and just raised slightly. So they kind of give a stacked, staggered effect. I'm going to take some artificial greenery and just hand staple it to the front of one of the pieces of wood. You could really use any greenery of your choice. This spray here has some pine cones and some winter berries on it. And that's gonna go in the front. And this is going to help the three pieces stand nicely. And then I'm also gonna place one in the back side to just help finish it off. You could take any ribbon or bow of your choice. I have this black and red buffalo check pre-made bow that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to glue them on the top of each piece of wood right under the flame. Now when creating this, I wasn't really thinking that the flame was the same color as the background. So I am just going to lighten that up at the end of the video with some of the white paint. That way you could see the flame a little better. And this is just a top coat of salve that I'm just doing very quickly just to give it a nice finish. And sometimes I like adding the salve after I have all my main pieces glued down as it's hard to glue on top of that. And there you go, now you have this very easy Christmas candle wood set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.